and I'm back again. And yeah, this is actually my second time uh, starting this video. Uh, yeah, the, the first time uh, I was filming and my camera battery died. So, uh, yeah, that interrupted the filming. And actually, it's kind of a good thing that the battery died because, uh, yeah, what, when I was filming it, I was kind of just rambling on, uh, which I tend to do, oh, uh, well, yeah. And when I'm filming these videos, I, I do ramble on and so, yeah, I'm just gonna start over and try to, uh, yeah, get to the point of this video faster because, yeah, I, I don't always do that in my videos. It's weird that I tend to talk a lot when I'm filming these videos, but I don't often talk a lot to other people. Uh, I'll instead try to tell this story, or, well, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, is this a story? See, see, there I go. I'm getting off talk with it. Uh, again, but yeah, well, I'll, I'll just try to get to the main point of this uh, video. Uh, but like how other people would tell a story, and yeah, not me. Yeah, not not how I usually make these videos. But yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, so. Since, oh, yeah, actually, I just want to point out that I have my skis over here and then my bike behind me. Uh, yeah, my bike's like that because uh, I've got a flat tire that I'm trying to fix. And my skis are here because, uh, yeah, ski season is almost over. So, yeah, I'm keeping my ski stuff with me at my place. Uh, and, and then, if, if I do get another chance to go up skiing, I'll have them with me here. Yeah, it's, it's that time of year where I can go skiing and ride my bike on the same day, you know, which I've done before in uh, the past. Yeah, yeah, that's springtime where I live. Back to the main point of this video, which is about me seriously considering just quitting my job, just leaving. Uh, yeah, like I said in my last video, I want a new job. Uh, and I started looking more and, and more for new jobs. And I even just had a job interview. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, it was for, uh, uh, for working at, and I've applied many times to there uh, in the past and never heard back from them. And th this time I heard back within a couple of days from them and then they, they called and just asked I could come in that same day, which just happened to be my day off from work. So yeah, it did. Uh, but I don't think the job interview went that well. Uh, Cause they, they wanted like specific sis situations that I've been in that applied to the questions uh, that they were answering. And like some of them were like described, but a uh, situation where you have to deal with a, 
I'm like an unruly customer. Yeah, with, with those type of situations, I try hard to forget uh, about them. Yeah, just because when they happen, I, my brain just like, keeps bringing up that situation, even though I don't want to think about it. And, it, and I replay it over and over again in my mind. And, and also what, uh, what happens is uh, with, with me and my autism, I guess, I'll like kind of like uh, get expressive when I'm thinking about the situation and kind of like act out. It like, I don't know, just start doing weird stuff with, with my hands and arms and uh, yeah, other body, body parts. Which I think would be considered stemming or like uh, self stimulation. Yeah, I do that uh, when my brain brings up these bad situations. So, yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah, one way I try to forget the the uh, bad situation is I just try to misremember them. Like in my mind, I'll just like try and change the details of the situations. And maybe try and like picture like television static or those color bars and just like uh, and I like try and merge them with the memory so then maybe it will be easier for me to forget. But, but uh, yeah, but I definitely didn't bring this up in the job interview. And also the, they were, the job interview was between me and two other people, but it was just in some chairs behind the a register that was closed. So, the, and the store was open at the time, so there's people walking all up around us and it was loud and it was just weird that they didn't like bring me into an office or a, an empty room to do the interview and just had in the middle of the, of the public. And yeah, so yeah, that also threw me off. And yeah, so, yeah, so probably won't be getting that job and as for my current job uh, it it is starting to get busier and I just feel like things are getting worse as they get busier because right now I'm the only full-time uh, person in my position of of, uh, of uh, they, they call it uh, freight associate yeah yeah something like that but it's, it's basically just like a laborer labor -er -er. yeah yeah labor job and at my store there's me and then there is one other part-time person who does the same work but he's there on my days off yeah, and yeah, so most of my week, I'm the only one at the store in the position and a lot of the work falls to me and we are starting to get busier as it gets warmer. Uh, although we actually did have a bunch of cold weather recently and it, it actually snowed a, a couple times. Yeah, because that's March. Yeah. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes and it will change. Yeah, yeah, it's not uncommon for it to be sunny and snowy in the same day. But even despite the snow and cold weather, the store has still uh, gotten busier, uh, which which was a little surprising. 
I thought uh, the snow and cold would keep customers away, but not completely. It's too much work just for me. And the, the truth is, it's not as busy as it will be. And right now, I'm, I'm struggling a lot more. And we're, we're not even the busiest it can be. Or, or it will be. Yeah, we're and we're just not hiring any more seasonal help. So I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just getting, I think, just more exhausted because uh, business is picking up more customers and more work for me. But I also got my other tasks that I have to every day uh, as well as some other projects that also need to be completed you know, like 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 some more work outside to, to, to get ready for spring but yeah so anyway I just feel like not going to work anymore like just not showing up I, I guess it's my anxiety, like I've got my flight response engaged and that, I just want to get out of there. But at, at the same time, it's just really not in me to just uh, abandon a job. I mean, I mean technically I, I did do that with uh, the hospital laundry uh, job that I, that I had for one week. Uh, but you know, having a job for one week is different than having a job for one year. Uh, yeah, which actually speaking of that laundry job, uh, a, a couple months ago I got a text message from the hospital yeah, yeah, it was like a job recruitment text saying, you know, we missed you. Come back to work for us. But yeah, but still, I'm not going back there. And yeah, that that was really the first time I quit a job without having another job to go to. And right now I don't have any other jobs lined up at the moment. And also because of my anxiety, I'm afraid to go talk to my boss about how I'm feeling. Or, or you know, give my two weeks notice. Because if I do that, I, I know he'll uh, ask me some more questions. If, if I ha had gotten another job, then it would be easier because I've had that conversation with uh, uh, my other bosses where, you know, I, I go in and give them my two weeks notice and just say that uh, I, I was hired some, someplace else uh, and, and there's usually no more questions. And now, yeah, now I'm just rambling and trailing off. So, yeah, I seem to have run out of things to say. So, uh, again, this video is going to be longer than I wanted it to be. But, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll see how much I can cut it down. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know, maybe I'll just email my boss my resignation letter hope that they don't contact me and start asking questions because I, I never did hear from the uh, hospital laundry job after I uh, left them a resignation letter uh, on, a, on my last day since I've been at my current job longer and people know me 
more. Uh, I feel like I will definitely, they will definitely reach out to me. Which, uh, yeah, I guess I just have to have the conversation. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely figure out what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do it. Uh, uh, in, in the next cup, next days, because the, the sooner, sooner the better. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll just have to see uh, what I do. Uh, and, yeah, and so, until then, which I'll, I'll definitely make another video uh, talking about what I did. And yeah, so until that video, uh, goodbye.